Hi everyone, I'm Bria Bone, one of the founders of the Real Estate Social Ambassadors. And I'm Mallory Mundy, and today we're talking all about how to optimize your Facebook profile. So Bria, you are all into branding. I know that you're teaching uh, small groups on how to brand their business. So what are your top tips on optimizing your Facebook profile for more engagement, for more recognition? What do you do? Um, so let's start with talking about your profile photo. I recommend using a profile photo that's either your headshot or some other photo where it's easy to see you and recognize you and then use the same photo across all marketing materials including Facebook, Instagram, your business card, everything super consistent with that and then with your cover photo I recommend creating it in Canva and um, just trying to make something that's simple, um, easy to read and understand. Uh, suggest on that profile and um, the cover photo that it's easily identifiable to your brand or is this just a random photo random quote what are what are you saying there um i would not choose a random photo um if you want to choose a photo i recommend one of the city you're working in or something that's easily identifiable by your ideal client um, if you don't want a photo then you can just have some text on there and just remember to use um, the same font that you use for all your marketing materials, the same colors, everything to be consistent with that. And then, um, I mean, at its simplest, you could just put um, like your name, comma, realtor. If you really don't wanna spend a lot of time on it, you could just put your name and occupation and just put the background color, one of your brand colors. And I think that would be um, certainly fine. Awesome, awesome. Now, what, what's your next step? Mm -hmm. um, and then next, um, the captions of your profile photo and cover photos are a great place to put your short bio. So ideally, this is one sentence of your name and what you do and what makes you unique from other agents. Um, so you can put that there is a section in Facebook for your short bio, but you can also put it as captions on your um, profile and cover photos. Um, and then Facebook also lets you um, put in a lot of different details like location, et cetera. Um, I recommend doing location. And then if you are still living and working in your hometown, that could be a great one to fill out as well. Cause I know Facebook distinguishes from that. And then um, as far as hobbies and all the other details, I would steer away from filling those out. Cause I think it can get pretty cluttered on your profile. I would instead, um, use your posts that you're making on Facebook to show your hobbies and your personal life. Um, do you have any tips for that, Mallory? Oh, and I think just being authentic and true to yourself because your people are, you know, your closest sphere of influence on Facebook. That's the way I look at it because I, I know most of my friends on Facebook personally. Um, so just being really authentic and making sure they know what you do, uh, but don't shove it down their throats all day, every day. <laughs> That's the worst. Exactly. Yeah. And we do talk about in this group a lot about how to mix personal and business content. So I definitely think your profile is a great place to feature your work and show people that. But um, when in doubt, just keep it simple, easy to understand and read and focus on providing content about your personal life as well. Awesome. Well, thank you, Bria. And if you guys have any questions about optimizing your Facebook profile, leave a comment below and we will get back to you. Y'all have a good day.